This is my shack. That's why I call it Happy Jack Shack. And uh, I know it's been a, quite a while since I put up a video, so this one is going to be rather fairly short. I'm going to do a review. And um, also, I want to go and talk about some of the things that have happened around here. We just had Hillary go through, and um, she did a lot down in, in the L.A. area, Southern California, and also the um, uh, southern part of Nevada. And then she worked her way on up north, and she just kind of breezed by the eastern edge of us. And it wasn't so bad. We got about um, maybe five or six hours of rain. Solid, steady rain, but it was a light rain, almost like a, a lawn sprinkler. So, good thing is, I don't have to water my lawn for a couple days. And we've had some um, monsoon um, thunderstorms go through. And fortunately, with the rain, some of the forest fires up in Northern California got put out, or at least, um, they gave the firefighters a chance to catch up, but we haven't had near the forest fires here that we did last year. Now, it seems they migrated north into Canada. Those people are getting hit really bad. And um, it's... But let's get to what I'm going to talk about. It's, this is, a, um, I'm going to do a review on an um, incense burner, but this isn't your normal, ordinary, everyday incense. Oh, and before I forget, check out my shirt. Good words to live by, especially these days, you know. Don't be scared, be prepared. So, this incense burner, it's called a backflow incense burner. And most times it's like for fountains and um, waterfalls. Except it's not water, it's smoke. Mine is a dragon. You know that. You know, I like dragons. I married a dragon. Hi, Lon. <laughs> yeah, and not only is she a, um, uh, she was born in the year of the dragon, 
But she is a goddess. I still say she's a goddess. But that's another story. So let me rearrange, re bring the camera down here, and um, I'll show you a close up of it and um, actually go through a demonstration. I looked on YouTube. I even tried to do a search for this particular one, and they didn't have it. Nobody has reviewed this thing, so I'm going to be the first, <laughs> I hope. So let me rearrange and um, let's see what we can see, shall we? <laughs> Later. This is the Dragon Backflow Incense Burner. It's a two-sided, and everything you see here comes with the set. You get 100 black flow cones, and um, you also get the doily. There's a pair of tweezers and the dragon. Okay, so here's the tweezers and they're real nice for grabbing the cones and I don't know if you can see it or not but there is a little hole in the bottom of the cone. That's for the smoke to come out of. And if you look at the dragon, this is where the cone goes and there's a hole there. And if you haven't seen them yet, these are fantastic. This one, I think, is the best because the little notches where, where it comes down, they're in little crevices. So, generally, any disturbance of the wind, of the air, in the room will make the smoke blow all over the place. But this one is really, really good. Like I said, you get 100 cones of various fragrances. And um, you can see I've got green and yellow, kind of a light orange, a brown, there's a red and a pink. And the one we're going to use is Poipo. That should be lavender. And the tweezers are good because you want to be able to light it and then set it right where it's supposed to go without falling over. <laughs> Me, I get it in there, get it started, and then we'll see how it does. First, I have to reach across, excuse me, my clipper lighter. I like these. You don't need a flint. Oh, I also meant before I go and light this puppy up, they call it a tube burner and I don't know if you can see it or not, but this, this little bit of uh, moss up here, there's another hole there to put it, but I only burn one incense at a time. But on this side, you have an owl and some magic mushrooms. You know, I'm conscious I shroomed. Might get another try one of these days again. And you see the back side of the dragon. What I like really neat about it is when it's actually going, you can't hardly see the incense. So let me drop you down a little bit so we can go and get a little bit better picture of it and everything and um, maybe move it over to the other side or something. So stay tuned. All right. There it is, it's set up on its little doily, 
and um, let's see if I can get this thing going. The thing I like about these clipper lighters is it's adjustable flame. As you can see, it's already coming out to mount. Very slowly. I'll probably take this and make it a little, go and speed it up a little bit. And I think I want to raise up the camera a little. While we're waiting for it to really start to backflow, let me raise up the camera. Uno momento. And now you get the full effect of the backflow. Actually, I painted that all in there, so it looks like it. Pretty good paint job, huh? Haha. <laughs> Would you? This is the neat part. Why don't you blow it all away and then watch it just flow. But occasionally there is a little bit of a breeze that comes through, disturbs the, the smoke. But this one is nowhere near as bad as some of the others. And the cones will last for about 5-10 minutes. Or did they say 10-15? to 15. I know my larger ones, I bought some bigger ones. These are um, about an inch tall. And some of the others are inch and a half. And um, the really premium ones that I got are um, two and a half inches and they're really good. But I'm going to get rid of these cheaper ones first. And as you can see there's a moat around the bottom and um, I did, I did go and um, paint his eye, or her eyes, red. And um, I did add the moss for the second hole to cover it up. And there is moss already in there. That was, that was already in there. But I really like how it's painted. I mean, look at that. And you can see the moat. Is that freaky? And you can just start it all over again. I'm sorry, it's that little boy. It's his fault. He keeps doing that stuff. I don't know why, just on this edge here seems to want to flow out on its own. The rest of it's almost straight drips except for the little waterfall right there. Oh, it, that is lavender. So this is the backflow incense holder and I'll have the the full title of it I'm not even going to attempt to uh, try and pronounce the the brand name but you can go and order it and 
basically, with the exception, like I said, I painted the eyes red and I added the, um, the dip. Um, it comes just like that. You have 100 um, cones. You get the tweezers and um, you get the doily. And of course, you get the dragon. So I hope you liked it. And um, now I gotta see if I can find me some, maybe some Chinese music to put on with it, some Asian music. And, um, you know, to be like for a dragon. second um, part of the Monkey King. I've been watching a three-part series on that and um, I, I think that's pretty neat. The Monkey King. But this one goes into a lot of the, um, the origins of the legend and then all the way through. But I still say Jet Li does the best Monkey King just for those that care about that kind of thing. So, this is Happy Jack, hoping your journey down life's path is a pleasant one. Later days. Y'all come back now, you hear? Oh, before I go, um, my next one, hopefully, will be my night vision goggles. So if I hear the coyotes out there, I might be able to get some video of them. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? So stay tuned for that. And like I said, journey on down that path, you hear? Later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 